Good morning and thank you for coming on uh, this call today and share your story because that is so very different from reading about it in an email or seeing it on a sales page. Here is the real person and we would love to hear your story. So take us back before Sampa Kickstart, before you knew this crazy lady in red and, <laughs> and you were making your own handbags. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about that business. Well, I'm self-taught sewer or how you call it. So just sewing, I, I like it. So I just made more and more bags and I started to selling them and sort of business started to grow and it was bigger and bigger, but because I was home with my first kid, <laughs> my first baby was home. So I started, you know, as a part-time job to create a handbag yeah. and sell them. And so we, we call it like a side hustle. Yeah. You have like a side business. Side business, you, yeah. You, yeah. You were just trying to earn a little bit of money because you were enjoying making these handbags. How did that start? Were you, were you just making your own handbag and someone said, hey, it's so cool yeah. to buy it from you? <laughs> I think sort of like this, yeah. yeah. I was always creative. So I was, I was doing all the techniques, like everything. But mm. the sewing was, I think, the right thing for me. I like the handbags. Because when you sew clothes, you have to fit your body. Yeah. <laughs> This is not in handbags. You can, you know, so I bit, know, you I know. know. It's so much easier to buy shoes and handbags because they exactly. all fit. Yeah. <laughs> and it with clothes, you're yeah. like, oh, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it was much easier for me, and yeah, I just fell in love in handbags. Yeah, somehow. somehow. So, so how, how long did you do this handbag business, making these handbags? Well, the business actually it was three years. Three years, yeah. But it, but it never made you like big money. You you say eight thousand dollars over a year. Yeah, it's actually quite a lot in Czech Republic. Yeah, when you you know side for hustling. side business, it yeah, was good for money. side business. It was not bad. Yeah, but when the business was growing, I also had girls work, working for me and sewing instead of me, and I was just you know doing the admin work, and I yeah. didn't really like it. And I really wow. miss the community to talk to people. I was yeah. not able to make a community um, around the, you know, product business. No, no, no. Yeah. When when you really. just sell products, yeah. you don't really have a community around you. Yeah. And so how really old was your the... child? Your child was about... The first one, she was three years old. And then the second one was born. <laughs> second one was born. And then you started <laughs> to think, uh, yeah. I really want this handbag business. Yeah, I do want to hear a funny story behind all of this. <laughs> you haven't heard that. It. It's really funny as well. Because it was end of the year, 20, 2020. And I was, you know, December, I was making more space in my computer. I was deleting all the stuff. Mm -hmm. And I accidentally deleted a whole my folder of the business. Like all, like everything. Oh. I didn't have any, you know, backups. I just accidentally deleted all the stuff, like the folder. Everything the business was... folder on your computer was gone. So yeah. but, was that so because... including the patterns for the handbags like, or everything? Like everything. everything, logos, photos, everything. It was like the folder you have for your business. So I deleted it. But Ooh. because it was December, I was pregnant. So I was like, yeah, I want to have a free January, February. So I realized in March when I wanted to come back to the business, I realized I don't have any data for my business. <laughs> wow. So it was like a last drop. You know, well, maybe, like master, maybe like, if this happens, it's a sign. <laughs> it's a sign that you should be doing something new. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, fuck it all. I was like, this is a, the last, you know, drop in this. I don't like it at all. Yeah. So, so basically you started with passion and joy making these handbags. But as the business grew and you had others suing the handbags for you, you realized it wasn't actually the business that you wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And then you <laughs> had the idea... Your your child was four months old, if I remember correctly. The second one, yeah. yeah. The second child. And you had the idea for a uh, sewing pattern business. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, at first, I, I already sold so all of, uh, some of them. Like I created three sewing patterns and I tried to sell them. It was yeah. not really working. But because I knew how difficult it is to build a business from beginning, you know, alone, as I did before, I knew yeah. I needed help 
I really want to, you know, take a short shortcut. It was really my mindset. I, I was really looking for someone to help me to build my new business. I didn't want to mm-hmm. do it myself yeah. because I knew what I did wrong. I really want to help. So yeah, I was listening podcasts and I was also listening um, biz, sort of business, but in Czech, Czech language. Yeah. And it was really co- coincidence. Yeah. It was not purpose. Ingrid Dach was in an interview with some sewing lady. I was listening to creative podcast yeah. about sewing. And Ingrid Dach was there as a copywriter and she was speaking about you and how she, you know, Ingrid's story. It's just wonderful. So I was so inspired. I find your podcast and I yeah. fell in love with your podcast. Oh. It, just, it just, you were just talking to me. It was all about me. <laughs> <laughs> I made the podcast for you. <laughs> yeah, it was really made for me. It, it really, you know, it was what I was, yeah, it was just about me. And then yeah. you had the free camp, free, how, how was it called in June last year? Online oh, business. we had like an online business summer camp, boot camp. Yeah, yeah. something. But it was yeah. a free program, so I joined the free program, and then, yeah, things changed. And then, <laughs> well, the funny story is that you joined the program, and you were so busy yeah. getting funds to join that you kind of didn't read what the program was about. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's another story. Yeah, I didn't have the money, of course. Yeah, because you know we are building a house. I have the kids. I'm home. I'm not working a lot. And yeah, the Kickstarter is not very cheap for, you know, Czech Republic uh, funds. So I was like, yeah, I don't have the, the money for the course, but I really want it. I, I was like, I, I need this. I really need. So I decided. So that, that is, uh, you know, a lot of women might be watching this uh, interview and they are maybe exactly in that situation where like, I really, really want to join, but I don't think I have the funds for it. But what did you do? <laughs> so I decided to, because I'm I have a lot of, handbags home like full storage so it's yeah. like yeah i can i can give a sale sale discount discount for a yeah, handbag. Yeah, yeah. no but yeah like a sale yeah sale and and you know write sell a story lots of handbags. yeah yeah so i did i think 15 percent off to all of my stuff all, yeah. all of my handbags and i wrote a story i want to buy a, a broad course i want to move my business further so basically you told all the people who potentially want to buy yeah. your handbags, this is the reason I have a sale. I want to join yeah. the program. Yeah. Yeah. It was like this. I was like, yeah. you know, I was sort of desperate and it was like a week because you had, you know, open cart. So it was like yeah. panic. <laughs> it was like, you know, last uh, call or I guess. <laughs> just help me. And it was such a huge support from my friends and family. They yeah. bought all of them. I think it was June. And I yeah. think yeah, all my friends bought Christmas gifts. <laughs> oh, wow. So much support. I was so surprised. And they all told me, I don't want to sell. I just want to support you. It was yeah. So much, uh, you know, I was wow. so pleased with all the support from my friends and family. That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So they didn't care so much about getting the handbag. Uh, they just wanted to support you. They wanted to support me. And it was really huge for me. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful story. So because you were so busy doing this for a week, <laughs> You yeah, didn't actually busy. read how Samba Kickstart works and you come into the program and it's not a program that helps you create an e-commerce business selling PDFs. So what did you think when yeah. you realized it didn't do that? <laughs> well, I, I was not really thinking about it. I was just, I, I really want to build a functional business. That was my, you know. Yeah. And I need help. So if the help says do this, I'm going to do this. You know, I was... <laughs> I was really on the, at the beginning. I had nothing done, like nothing. Well, so you had really... deleted the folder. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I was like, <laughs> that's me. So, you know, I, I was really on the beginning. So there, there was like, okay, if you say doing the car, do the course, do the online thing, I'm gonna do it because you know it's working, and I want. That's that was why I joined Kickstart. I wanted the shortcut. Yeah, I wanted to someone telling me do this do this do this and I'm gonna do it and my business is gonna grow so that's my that was my vision at that time so I was just listening your trust wow. the process. you are you're the dream student that just comes <laughs> in well it's not what I expected but I'm just gonna do what <laughs> he tells me <laughs> yeah but I trusted you that you know how to make business working yeah 
because I knew my style, my free, you know, my, when I do it myself, it took forever and it's not that well working. You're so creative, I knew, you're a creative person, yeah. you know, you like to create things. And so you make me need some cohort with the structure. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, exactly. I need the business stuff. I have no idea. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. not a good. Okay, so person. you did not know what kind of online course you wanted to create then, because you hadn't even uh, made a sales page, and you thought <laughs> you were going to sell sewing patterns PDFs. So, yes, you came into Kickstart without an online course idea, basically without an online business idea, because you were not going to sell the PDF patterns. So. How did you come up with an idea? Did you just survey or did you instantly know, oh, I know what kind of online course I want to create? No, I had no idea, whole process, no idea. It was just, I followed your steps, really, literally. I did what, what you said I did. It was so nightmare for me to, to shoot a video on a camera. I was so, it was so difficult for me. But I, I used surveys as you, it's your first week of Kickstarter surveys and it really helped me. I realized them. Well, I have. The, well, my problem was that I thought I don't have that good knowledge about it because I'm self-taught and you know a lot of limiting yeah, beliefs. Yeah, a lot of women actually. Know how, yeah. yeah, a lot of women watching now also th think they're not expert enough. So yeah, you also I, thought that. So that was really my problem. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I I can sew handbags. I can do something, but you know, I'm not a professional sewer. I'm just a hobby hobby person but it turned out that I'm really well <laughs> I can teach <laughs> yeah I can, you can teach well you yeah. didn't know that yet when we did the survey so you did a no. survey so, yeah, survey. so basically you just trusted that the survey will give you the answer did people tell you what they were struggling with and then you had an idea yeah yeah, sort of, yeah. and then I created I was creating week by week week by week so I was, you know, yeah, uh, thinking whole process. Yeah. So you decided to have a sewing course, obviously. Obviously. Each other sewing. sewing so what was the first, uh, what was the idea? Like, were they going to sew a handbag or something else? Yeah. The, the idea, like the survey said that they don't understand the, the fabrics and the inter interfacing is the yeah. English word for the white thing you put when the handbags yeah, stiff. yeah, yeah. To make it stiff, the handbag. You yeah, have to, to make it a, stiff. a fleece or yeah. something so, in between. Yeah, yeah. So it turned out that they are people are confused in what materials to use, and they don't know that you can actually sew handbag in your home sewing machine. They all yeah. thought that you have to have the indust uh, industrial, industrial machine. Yes, yes. Yeah. That's what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So there was like and so huge... so natural, so natural. When you think of it now, it makes all sense that you teach others people how to sew a handbag instead of sewing it yourself and making so little yeah. money with it but <laughs> you didn't know that this would be such a natural step for you no 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 I had no idea this is my yeah. thing no no idea no idea at all but so just, you I offered this course enough. for free and uh, yes. I hear a lot of uh, from artists and creatives how can you do the kickstart process when you have to prepare stuff so you you could just you know you taught it live or recorded or how did you do it how were you able to do it? because a lot of people think they need so much preparation weeks or months before they're ready well, to, of course so tell us how you did it of course it's easier if you have more time but since i well our house was under construction and i didn't have the how you call the last layer of the walls yeah so yeah, the, the, the one, yeah i don't know it in english either yeah but it was um, all bricks so yeah just bricks. <laughs> i didn't have any any free wall to shoot my videos so i have to do it outside because it was the only plain wall we have home and i had the baby like three or four month old four baby, old so baby. Did, House my husband was finished time. yeah well Barra, and my husband was anyway. time and a toddler yeah oh, yeah so I had no time at all. So yeah, I all the videos were pre-recorded, but yeah. to be honest, it was not a good, well, quality. It was my first video ever. Uh, yeah. And with the conditions I had, it was the best I could do, but well, it was not perfect. No, at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. But it was honest. 
and it, it was honest out. oh that's the word yeah it was honest yeah. and, and you did it you know people think when they're teaching something creative or like you suing if they have to then record and edit then you know complicate it but you just shut it and yeah i edited a little bit i, I, had, little I like bit. it was my first time editing so i tried you know when you saw then then you can make it faster you know mm -hmm. to Oh yeah, you can speed it up when you watch it. Yeah, yeah, speed it up. yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. I did those kind of edits, but not 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 no. a lot. No. So you say it's possible, even if you have something that sounds like you should prepare a lot of time, you can still do it with little. It was just no time. no time at all, like no. no time and that's at a good all. thing. That's a good thing because under time pressure, we actually bring out things that are maybe eighty percent okay. They're not perfect, but they're good enough. They're good enough. Yeah, yeah, it was good enough for, you know, it was free training, so. Exactly, that's the whole point. It's a free four-week like course, and that's they, why it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, if they didn't pay for it, I was like, yeah. yeah. If they don't like it, they can just leave and nothing yeah. really happened. And how did you feel running the course? This was your first online course. Yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the group atmosphere and the spirit and the community i finally yes! found a community I and know. I, I, it was first time in my life i felt i can i'm a good how you call i'm a good in something and i can tell something i can teach them something it was yeah. the first time I, I felt good in something i had no idea how good i don't want to say how good i am but that i really have the knowledge yeah. And people ask me, and I, I know the answers. It was like such a good feeling for me that I really felt like I know what I I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I had no idea. It sounds funny, but I, I had no idea that I'm, you know, so many steps ahead. Uh, yeah. Normal. Stories, well, we stores. typically we typically don't know until we do it. Yeah. But what's so a real life experience? Because you're a creative and you crave community and then you could do both in your online course that is yeah. so great and i can see it on your face you were it made you so happy you found your yeah, thing. So, yeah it was really my thing i was like yeah it was my thing yeah literally. so, so I had the whole like whole process yeah so then you finished your course and then you sold them another course what what was your upsell what was your next step yeah, I put a survey out, another one, I think, with it, mm -hmm. and just give them what they wanted. So we and what, saw, did they want, what did they want next? They wanted to sew um, ro roll handbag, a uh, backpack, the big one. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 the roll on the back, yeah. Yeah. So, so it's just another to... course on handbags. Yeah. Well, not handbags, not handbags, but yeah, but but it yeah. because it's really advanced. So I put two easier projects in front of it. So it's three, three projects, eight week, eight weeks, and they really were so excited. Mm. Yeah, how many spots so did you sell? Uh, out of I, because I had over thousand people in my free training. Yeah, then I had fifteen percent conversion. I still fifteen percent believe. conversion. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. After Kickstart, it was like so fifteen. I, I, well, I, people can calculate those were quick. It's hundred fifty spots. Hundred fifty 150 spots. 150. They bought your next course. Wow! Yeah. How do you? Like I was how did not that make you feel? It. How did that make you feel? Like I still can't believe. Like it's so. I don't know. <laughs> I was so surprised because <laughs> the most funny thing was the the last week, the fourth week of the videos. I shoot it and when I saw it, I saw it wrong. But because I was in a time press, I, I, I was really in time press. So I was like, I told them, okay, this is wrong. I have to seam rip it and sew it again. I don't have time to, you know, start from the, you know, from. Yeah, so basically you were doing some mistakes in the last week. And yeah, I did, I like, that I did a huge, huge, huge mistake, like a huge, like a really huge mistake, but there was no time to fix it. So I like, ah whatever yeah. <laughs> but they were so yeah it's so nice to see that you make mistakes too and it was so fine so nice to see how to fix when you that you can fix actually when when you know 
yeah. saw something wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they see the they they saw the way how to fix it. So yeah. they were so excited. I don't know how. So they uh yeah. They so fell I was in love so with you. Embarrassed. It's you. You know. Yeah. It was yeah. Me. <laughs> Somehow they felt they, they liked the handbags and they because they were they were uh, able to sew the begin beginners one. So they wanted to learn more. And, yeah. Yeah. And so you sell 150 spots, you had three projects in the eight week course, smaller projects, and then the bigger one, the backpack. What happened next? You know, you have now this amazing online business, you know, this has literally changed your life and everything. And, uh, you know, when I hear the number $230,000 made last year, I think uh, even when I share it with someone, someone will not believe that you can make this with sewing courses. Like, how do you feel? Like, I don't believe. I don't believe it too. <laughs> you don't believe it either. <laughs> no, it's it's really unbelievable. We have really strong community in Czech Republic of sewer, so seamstresses, so sewer people yeah. who sew as a yeah. hobby. Yeah. But they always sell clothes. I'm the own, not the only one, but the biggest one who sells handbags, handbags. And it's oh it's really, so cool you found your niche yeah i found my niche really my niche yeah, yeah. i don't know why handbags i also sell clothes but the handbags are my thing i really love i don't know why <laughs> oh I, I i it's much easier because handbags you don't have to fit into them yeah exactly you don't have, you don't have to fit it it's just so easy but you yeah. have to you know know the, the materials i think the problem is the materials that people don't know yeah they're exactly stiff enough and don't work. fall together yeah yeah, yeah. So, so okay you created the upsell what was next like uh how do you go from zero to two hundred thirty thousand in uh <laughs> it's is simple. It one and a half year called, is it one and a half year momentum. yeah one and a half year yeah it's, it's called momentum. momentum yeah that's our next program <laughs> i yeah. done momentum yeah yeah and then it just Goes. and then you and continued follow following the steps exactly <laughs> well i really did because i knew this first i was like yeah the lady in red she was right and everything what you said was right everything was working for me what i did i was always like why i should do this why the surveys why another one why do this i had no idea but i always did it and it always works out so yeah i, I just follow your steps <laughs> it's easy <laughs> It's what really a great easy. student. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it really works. Like everything works. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, right. you, you are just such a light, you know, uh, your laughter, your smile. Uh, you know, I, 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 I totally get it when people buy from you. Maybe they don't even want to sue a handbag. They just want to be in your presence because you, I'm sure you just make people happy. You're making well, you know happy what? right now. You are really right. It's well. I I will sound now. I will you know sound to, uh, but I think they they really like the the fun. Of course, my courses are really funny, and because my last launch on uh, was October this year, last year October, mm -hmm. the last one, I was really worried. Uh, what with the crisis and all the stuff and. I was pregnant and I have team and it was a lot of pressure to me. And because of the crisis, I was so scared that no one wants to sew handbags. You know, that's not yeah. the first thing you do in a crisis. Yeah. So as you and Natalie told me, send surveys to your ex students and ask them what they, what, how the sewing changed their lives. And like, I was so amazed and surprised what the answers were. They were all, it was not about sewing at all. No. It was it was more the community and they have how when they finish the handbag, they are so it makes yeah. them so proud and they yeah. their self-confidence rises. Yeah. yeah. And then they can shine, you know, they can spread the joy. Yeah. yeah. And they're making fun. And it was so many difficult stories how they overcame overcome cancer and they were stuck home and depressions and that kind of stuff. And then then they found this happy person and happy community and sewing and then started sewing and then they finished the projects and they were so happy. So they, you know. Uh, yeah. 
I know. Came back to the life. And so many stories. It was not just one. It was like yeah. tens, hun- maybe hundreds. Lots sure. of them. Yeah. Lots of stories like this. It's really heart touching. So I realized it's not, well, it's, it's about sewing, but it's, it's not, not about it's handbags. Just about sewing. It's yeah. really community and the, you know, joy thing. Yeah, to have something. So actually in a crisis, people tend to go to hobbies, something that gives them joy, something that is an escape from reality, maybe. Yeah. And, uh, escape community. from reality. That's yeah. what they do. Or yeah. when you work, when you work whole day and then you came back from home and you are tired and then you can sew something in an hour and it makes you happy again. And you can, you know, think about the fabrics and it's colorful stuff. Yeah, this is really working for people. So I was really, yeah. really surprised. I had no idea, no idea. Yeah. It was a huge surprise for me. So I changed messaging. I say change all texts and landing page. And yeah, it worked. Yeah. It was a it good worked. idea. Your idea or Natalie's or yeah, it's your concept. So, yeah. so how has this like changed your life? You know, you have now three children. Not two. Do you, yeah, is the one still in the belly? It's still, oh, it's still in the belly. It's still waiting. Uh-huh. Okay. Two children with one on the way, imminent. Yeah. You have a business making multiple six figures. You created this business in one and a half years. <laughs> yeah. One and a half years. Yeah. Believe I can't believe enough. it. Too. No, I can't believe uh, it either, but you uh, are here. <laughs> we believe you. <laughs> How has it changed believe. your life? Completely. Like completely, everything's different. My husband's home with kids now. He gave up his job, mm-hmm. so because my kids are really small, they they need to take like full time care. Yeah. So my husband is home, and I, I can work. Yeah, and I I love what I do, and I realized how how different life can be with the online business that you can really live your your life whatever you want to do. As you as you teach us, yeah, it's just wonderful, wonderful. But did it's going have, so fast that I. Did you have a vision for it, or did it just go so fast that you didn't even? No, yeah, catch up? yeah. That's, that's my problem. That the business goes so fast, I can't, you know, fall. <laughs> I'm not that way. Like my mind is behind. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what's possible because it's going yeah. so smoothly. Yeah, like wow. my fantasy is not <laughs> catching my like the business speed. <laughs> No worries. We'll work on that in momentum. We'll create a really, really big vision for you. Yeah, yeah. Vara. Yeah. So I have a few people here on uh, the call with us. Is, does anyone have a question for Vara? Uh, let me see if I... How many people do you get on each course now? Uh, like the paid one or free? Paid, paid one. one, yeah. When you sell spots, like if 250, you do... 250. 250 participants and their videos are pre-recorded yeah. and then you help them through the Facebook group and maybe some yeah, Q&A. Do life, you do Q&A life calls? Q&A. Live calls, yeah. yeah. Do you retain people? Do they go like uh, to the next course and next course? Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. They I've, stay with I've, you forever. I've, Once they're in Barra's world, they never leave. Yeah. I have 50% conversion from the first from the first paid to the second paid yeah. and then because they really want to join like that's what happened I, people, I, people stay if they're happy this is the yeah, essential they model really, yeah they really wanted to you know continue so i still keep creating more and more and they still want to but you know it's it's like 30 40 handbags they already sewn like different it's not the same pattern it's, it's different pattern so yeah yeah it's more well they have a lot of christmas <laughs> gifts a lot of birthday <laughs> gifts but they keep asking they keep they still so yeah they just so i'm still not finished so oh. i created membership this year which was well it's difficult to have the membership but it's working out yeah i have a lot of people everywhere wow. <laughs> yeah how do you price your course or how many do you run per year? The, the first uh, the first paid is two hundred dollars. It's yeah. not that expensive. Yeah. The second one is three hundred. Three fifty, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. 
And how it's many courses expensive. do you run over the year? So I know you have a membership Twice. now, and that's fairly new, the membership, but how many courses overall over the year? Twice a year. I do launches twice a year, spring and autumn. And mm -hmm. then they have also, it's the first course, and then there's the second one. It's yeah. longer half a year. And then they can go to the membership. Yeah. Yeah. So basically a starter course, signature course, yeah, yeah. and membership. Yeah. That's very normal in a sewing, yeah, drawing, hobby market. It's a normal ascension model in a hobby market. Yeah. Wow. Any other questions? How do you promote your business in general? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> they just come to you. I try to marketing. <laughs> well, yeah. I run Facebook ads, obviously. And it's quite cheap for this segment to yeah. compare to yours. So I And I started to build a funnel mm -hmm. as one of Sigrun's programs. Uh, well, I'm not finished. I'm, I'm stuck. But I still have... Uh, the first product uh, setting so it generates contacts every day and because of the paid program explain the sales funnel yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the money it doesn't cost me anything yeah 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 we we teach in momentum uh, a special thing called sales every day where basically your ads don't cost anything because you immediately sell yeah. small paid product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So it generates me a lot. I have 12,000 12, uh, people in my news, newsletter. Yeah, 12,000 on email list. Yeah, yeah. Huge. A lot. Yeah. And this is all in check. Uh, I think people are already eager to do your courses and asking if they're in <laughs> English. So Farah, maybe that world domination is next. <laughs> I can write the, the web page. Yeah. The courses are, I think the first course is four weeks, right? And the second one is eight weeks. Well, I, I always do the free challenge and it's four days. Yeah, the free challenge it. is four days. And then the course, the paid course is eight weeks. Eight weeks. And then and the follow-up course is months. six months. And then the membership. Yeah. She had 1,000 people in her free four-week course in Sampa Kickstart yes, and sold 150 kick. spots to her next program. Vara, and 230,000 in one, hand, one and a half years. Life completely changed. And Vara, you're just a lighthouse. You uh, are So I totally get it that people buy your courses, even if they don't want to create handbags. They just want to be with you. In your yeah, course, they, it just makes you just happy. Wanna have, they want to have fun out of me, I think. <laughs> I have and a lot of are. stories like you heard. <laughs> yeah, and you got your community, which is what you wanted. Creativity and community, the perfect combination. It is. All right, we could go on forever, but I just want to uh, respect your time. Thank you so much for sharing your story and answering a few of our questions. I appreciate <laughs> you, and we will make sure you go to the million with your business. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything is possible. <laughs> It is, but I really want to thank you for your kickstart. It's it all starts with kickstart. It just well, it's difficult, but definitely worth it. Mm. Every you month. did it. Well, you have shown us what's possible with it. So thank yes. you for sharing that. It's been 